pancakes versus waffles. It's time we take on this culinary kerfuffle using science. Hey squints, pancakes and waffles often have different toppings and slightly different ingredients, but to find the superior breakfast food, we will compare it using the same ingredients and no toppings so that we can find out what it is about each that makes them different scientifically. We'll be using my aunt's recipe. To start with, there are two main types of chemical reactions that help make both pancakes and waffles acid-base reactions, and Maillard reactions. We've talked about acid-base reactions before. A key ingredient in pancakes and waffles is baking powder, which is made from a base, baking soda, and an acid mixed together. The two molecules don't react though until you add water, which then makes a lot of carbon dioxide gas. The same gas we breathe out. <sighs> baking powder is put in food to make it fluffy. When mixed with gooey batter, those gas bubbles made from the reaction get stuck in the batter, creating little pockets of air. That's what makes these foods spongy and fluffy. The second reaction, the Maillard reaction, turns food brown and more importantly makes food taste flavorful. The reaction is pretty complicated, but it involves sugar, bits of protein called amino acids, and heat. It happens on the surface of foods and is what makes the outside of bread golden brown, turns bread into toast, and toasts marshmallows. Try it out yourself. What has more taste, a slice of bread or toast? Both pancakes and waffles are made with these reactions, but not in the same amounts. Pancakes have more acid-base reactions to make them fluffy. Maillard reactions happen on pancakes too, but not nearly as much as on waffles. To make waffles, a hot surface is smooshed up against all the sugars and amino acids in the batter to make as many Maillard reactions as possible. Waffle makers are designed to increase the amount of surface area on waffles, on average by almost twice as much compared to pancakes. And all that extra surface creates the perfect chance for Maillard reactions to make more flavorful molecules on those golden brown gates of heaven. Since waffles are more about crisp, flavorful pockets rather than fluffy cake cylinders, acid-base reactions aren't as important to waffles. In addition to taste, these reactions contribute to texture and usage. All the air pockets in pancakes help soak up syrup and any other kind of liquid poured on them, creating Sog City. Waffles, on the other hand, are perfect for holding toppings in their cute little waffle sacks. And don't get soggy as easily because they aren't as spongy. So in conclusion, pancakes have more acid-base reactions, waffles have more Maillard reactions. Maillard reactions make things taste better, and with less spongy texture for improved topping support, waffles are the clear winner. But even though science has declared waffles the superior breakfast food in both taste and function, you are free to stuff your face with either one. I won't judge too much. Give a shout out to your favorite breakfast food in the comments below. Keep asking questions and keep on squinting. Look at you eating your pancake, you pancake lover. You crepe of wrath, you flapjack flipper. You short stack flapjack, give your dog a pancake. Burned. Yep, that's burned. <laughs>